Good morning, Fair Mounters. Um, I hope that everybody is having a wonderful morning. Um, it looks like it's a beautiful day. I actually haven't been outside yet, but I hope that you are um, meeting today with lots of vim and vigor and positivity. Um, but before you go and put up those lemonade stands um, that you're making out of the lemons that are particularly ripe during COVID season, um, I'm going to take things down. I'm going to make things a real downer today. So you've been warned. Um, I was really excited to come in today and talk about our hymn sing next week. Our last one was such a joyous experience and it actually uh, got out into the community and I had other leaders of neighborhood churches contact me about being involved with this one. And so it was going to be this um, great ecumenical gathering of myself and several other music leaders um, leading hymns. And I um, told the session about it last night and I have just been Mach 5 excited, lit up like a Christmas tree. And after the session meeting, I came back here into my office and I thought, I need to start making the booklet of hymns. I gotta send them out to these other uh, worship leaders so we can be prepared. And I didn't know what all I wanted to do in format, but I knew that I wanted the very last one to be How Can I Keep From Singing, which is also known as My Life Flows On. It's 821 if you have a hymnal. I don't know if you keep it by your bedside like I do. But uh, I want to read to you the lyrics um, of, of this. I'm actually not going to read it straight out of the hymnal. I'm going to tell you um, an adaptation of the lyrics that I really love. My life flows on in endless song above earth's lamentation. I hear the real though far off hymn that hails a new creation. No storm can shake my inmost calm. I hear the music ringing. Since love is Lord of heaven and earth, how can I keep from singing? What though the tempest round me roars, the Lord my savior liveth. What though the darkness round me close, songs in the night he giveth. No storm can shake my inmost calm. I hear the music ringing. Since Christ is Lord of heaven and earth, how can I keep from singing? I was looking at these lyrics last night and instead of feeling that spark of joy, um, something came heavy over me and I realized um, there's been a lot of information that's come to light over the last few days about the process of um, aerosolization, aerosolization, the making of aerosol. Um, that makes it particularly risky for singers right now and especially singers in groups who are in close proximity and for an extended amount of time. And there's even been a lot of questioning about whether or not um, what role music will play when corporate in-person worship resumes. And so I ended up in this place of reconciling. Um, what is the next right thing? And I thought about one of these lyrics, since love is Lord of heaven and earth. And I prayed and I woke up this morning and thought the most loving choice is to keep people safe. And so as much as I might want it, I have decided to hold off on the group hymn sing for next week. And I'm lamenting. Um, I'm sure you can imagine this time is a struggle for a musician or especially a leader of music ministry and trying to cope with the uncertainty of, of what worship is going to look like and how I can fully live out my calling and the people I love and music is such a huge part of how they live out their faith. And it's hard. And I asked myself the question, how can I keep from singing? And I think the answer is that I can't. And how can you keep from singing? You shouldn't. I mean, there's the very practical ways. You can sing in the shower, you know. I'm gonna sing when the spirits says sing. It's great acoustics if you sing in the shower. You will sound better than you ever have before 
watch out. You might get some water sprayed into your mouth. That is gross. But make sure that you're taking time for music. Make sure you're nurturing yourself with listening. Um, we will be doing what we can on our end to make sure to provide creative ways to share music experiences with you while we are distanced from one another. And um, try to keep bringing you meaningful music for our online worship experiences on Sundays. It will be largely soloists and duets. If I occasionally use a group of four, you will note that they will be extremely distanced from one another. and. Um, so many safety precautions will be taken. Um, but I want to just encourage everybody. Um, it talks in here about the music that echoes in your soul um, to find that music um, that's deep down in you. Um, I'm going to read the last verse real quick because I, I really love this. Um, the peace of Christ makes fresh my heart a fountain ever springing. All things are mine since I am his. How can I keep from singing? No storm can shake my inmost calm while to that rock I'm clinging. Since Christ is Lord of heaven and earth, how can I keep from singing? So I hope everybody has a great day. Go make those lemonade stands.